If you're an Amazon seller that's interested in upgrading your listings to have premium A plus content instead of only basic A plus content, then you're gonna wanna see this video because I'm gonna be showing you many of the different content features that you get access to when you leverage premium A plus content instead of that old and dusty basic A plus content. Recently, I've been seeing Amazon automatically unlock premium A plus content access for many of our clients, but if that hasn't happened to you yet, then you you should consider reaching out to them to see if you can apply for it. Some of the features premium A plus content allows sellers to do is to have multiple videos in a carousel, larger images, image carousels, image hover spots, a Q and A section, and overall premium A plus content allows you to sell your product in a more effective way. So before we jump into me screen sharing and showing you many different premium A plus content modules, let me first tell you who I am and what we do at Evolve Media Agency. Real quick, if you don't know me, my name is Ian with Evolve Media Agency. At EMA, we completely revamp Amazon listings by doing top tier product photo and video shoots that boost the product detail pages conversion rate. So if you didn't know, when you have a higher conversion rate, your PPC ads perform better, you rank higher organically, and overall, you make more money on Amazon. Apart from product photo and video shoots, we also help Amazon sellers with building out A plus content sections, brand story sections, Amazon storefronts, and with creating off Amazon marketing funnels. If you want free access to our Amazon listing checklist, go to amzchecklist.com. And if you wanna book a free consulting call where you'll get a free Amazon listing audit, then go to emaamz.com. All right, so now let me share my screen and show you some of these premium A plus content modules. All right, so now you should be able to see my screen. And as you can see, we are here in the Amazon Seller Central platform. I'm logged into one of my clients' accounts here because I wanna show you what kind of modules they have access to. So I got a couple lined up for you here, but before I jump into these ones that are kind of my favorite, I wanna show you all of them and really just briefly talk about all the ones that you have available, that you have available to you. So I'm gonna click add module right here and you can see all these different premium modules. So starting from the top, you just have a basic premium background image with text. You can add in some text like that. Now, I don't really recommend doing that. I would more recommend actually graphic designing the text into your image. Don't just grab an image and then use their Amazon, you know, templated way of like putting in their text because you can't really insert your branding. You can't change font colors. You can't change fonts and where this box goes. You're pretty limited on that. So I would definitely just recommend graphic designing this image and then putting all your text inside the image and then just not inputting the font when you actually choose this actual module. All right, next one is a premium comparison table. So you just have more flexibility here. You have more information that you can put in there. You can kind of make it a little bit nicer and it's obviously gonna be wider. If you didn't know about premium content, it's a lot wider. It's about 1600 pixels wide versus the other one, which is I think is like 900 pixels, 800 or 900 pixels for the basic A plus content. So you're taking up more space in the actual viewer's desktop. It looks a little bit different on mobile, but overall you're gonna be getting more attention from your content with your premium A plus content. Now that's the whole benefit that I would say premium A plus content has is that you can be more creative, set yourself apart from the competition because they're most likely not doing this. This is rare that people are actually doing this premium A plus content, but as we move forward in time in 2023 and 2024, a lot more sellers are gonna have access to this. So it's important that you're fast, quick, and, and to the point with getting your uh, listings updated and upgraded with premium A plus content. So anyway, you got a cooler comparison table there. You have another comparison table version right here. So you can kind of change things up and just kind of go with whatever you prefer really. Here's a third comparison table, and this one actually allows the user to kind of like click through and kind of scroll through uh, different images and different products and things like that. So we're not gonna take a look at that one, but as you can see here, it just gives you a different look and it may actually allow the shopper to drill down on different features and benefits across your different products and things like that. All right, so the next module is premium dual images with text. So you can put text here as like a headline. You can put it in an image on either side. It's kind of like a two column image with text module. And then you can have some, you know, a, a sub headline with more copy right there. So it really just depends on how 
you wanna structure your A-plus content, but having premium A-plus content gives you a lot more modules to choose from. Here's premium for images and text. So if you wanna have like smaller little square images, you could have that and then you can put in more text. And something that has been in the rumor mill about A-plus content in general is, does it help you rank organically? You know, putting keyword rich copy into your A-plus content modules, does that help you actually rank better organically on Amazon? And I truly believe it does because why wouldn't Amazon allow that information to push their search engines? Why wouldn't Amazon try to get as much data as possible from your listings to better rank your product in the search engines? And then Google is gonna be indexing your entire listing and ranking your listing in their search engines. So I would say that the copy that you put in your A plus content section does help you organically and help you index for more keywords on Amazon and on Google, but other people will say differently. Ultimately, nobody really knows. I mean, the Amazon A9 or whatever number algorithm we're on at this point, it's not like plain as day. People are just making inferences and guessing. They have theories, but it's not like Amazon is coming out and saying, here is everything that we you know, include in our algorithms. So I would recommend always put actual text that you can highlight on a screen, put that into your A plus content section. The only way it's gonna hurt you is that it may not look as pretty as it all just being in images, but ultimately you probably will rank better organically and be indexed for more keywords if you have actual text in your modules. All right, rant over. Let me jump back to these modules. All right, so as you can see here, premium full image. Now this is very similar to this image, but this one just allows you to have text. This one, I mean, if you, if you wanted to do this and not have text, you could definitely just select this one if you want, but hey, either way, with either of these images, you're gonna have alt keyword metadata that you can put on the back end of the image, so that's really great. And then here's where we're gonna kick off some of the video type of modules that they have, all right? So here is like a full video. This is gonna be like a full screen video, not scrollable sideways, you know, you can pretty much just have one image. This may be great as like the top of your A-plus content section where you have like one big brand video or something like that. So that's a good one, but honestly, I would more recommend the these premium video carousels, premium video with text, because you can actually put more information in. And also the video is not full screen. You know, they can click and make it full screen, but when you have it like either one of these modules, you can kind of make it a little bit smaller and give them some insight into what the video is even talking about. The carousel obviously gives you the option to put in multiple videos into one little section there. So I really love the carousel, but before I go into those, let me just scroll back up and talk about some of these other modules, like this one right here, premium hotspots. This one is really cool because if you don't have the ability or you want to do something interactive, the ability of putting copy and graphics and text into your image and you want to go about this way of like hotspots where on desktop, if they hover over one of these little circles, you can have it kind of pop up headline and copy and stuff like that. You know, that's a cool little interactive way of giving shoppers features and benefits of your products. And you can kind of hone in on like this specific part. Typically what we do is we actually just do that in graphic design where we will just, you know, hone in on this specific part, have a little line and something and then have a little body of text. But ultimately you could probably put a lot more text in an image using these hotspots instead of making an image just have that graphically designed into it. You know, it would look very text heavy where you can go the more cleaner route like this image right here where it has zero text in it and the only time that they're gonna see the text is if they hover over one of these little hotspot circles. So just depends on how you wanna go about it with your brand. If you wanna go for a more cleaner, less text heavy branding, imaging, stuff like that, then I would say the hotspots are gonna be better for you. If you wanna go for more um, text rich, you know, copy that like you want them to see this copy, whether they hover it over it or not, then you may wanna graphically design it into your image. Like imagine this image right here, it has a little body of text right here talking about how their dog product is better than the other dog products, or it's for all ages, puppies and adult dogs. Now the next premium hotspot module is right here. This just basically gives you the option to add in a headline and a little body of text and then have that same image where you have hotspots and things like that. So it's very similar to hotspot number one, but you just have a little bit more copy that you can put in there. Again, if you believe that copy in the A plus content section will help you rank better organically, then you may wanna go with this because you can put in some more keyword rich copy up here and have your little hotspot, you know, interactive image right Right there. Next module we have is the premium navigation carousel. Now this one is really cool because you can basically put in, looks like four images, and then you can have little tabs that they click on that will immediately scroll them to the next image. You can put in some copy. I wouldn't really recommend putting in copy here because again, it's not really gonna be on brand. It's just a black box with a certain kind of 
font. So I would more recommend just having copy graphically designed into your image. And then when they click on these little tabs right here, that's just gonna slide over to the next little image where it's gonna have all the features and benefits in that image. So it's kind of like with this one section, because of the carousel, you're kind of putting four images into one spot. So you're really able to put in a lot more imagery and a lot more features and benefits of your product to convey to the shoppers instead of just having that module max of like, I think it's like six or seven modules max. Max. I think actually maybe even five max modules that you can put in basic A plus content. Now I believe that they limit you to five maximum modules for premium A plus content. So this is where it's really crucial where you can put in four images in one little module and in each image you have your features and benefits and things like that. Next up, we got the premium Q and A section. Now this one is really cool. If you have a product that is more complex and you have a lot of people asking questions because they want to know more information and you just want to easily have a Q&A section, this is a great little section to answer questions and also input more selling copy. You know, you can make somebody, you can kind of tee yourself up for a, a SmackDown type of a really powerful answer. You know, those political, those, those questions that they ask politicians, you know, the politicians are like, oh, I'm glad you asked that. Let me just go ahead and ramble on and on about why I'm so great. You know, that's, that's how the politicians answer it. So you can kind of do the same thing. You ask a question like, why are you different than the other brands on the market? And then and your answer is all elaborate. Oh, these are the many ways why we're different and why we're better than all the other brands on the market. So you kind of tee yourself up for a home run kind of a, an answer and you can get a lot more selling copy into your listing. So it's a good one. I like that premium Q&A. Next, we got the premium regimen carousel. Now this is similar to this carousel right here, just kind of conveys the tabs in a more vertical way. You can do text or no text in the image through the Amazon platform. But again, I recommend just graphically designing the, that text into the image. And then it's pretty similar. You can have a slide and put in more information, more images into one module. It looks like you could go up to five with this module. Next, we got the premium simple image carousel. Now this is just where they're gonna scroll through the carousel by either clicking these little dots or the little arrows on the side. I would actually rather prefer these ones or this one right here because you have written tabs that they can easily click to. This one, they're just blindly scrolling, right? They don't know what's gonna come next when they click the little arrow or the little dot. So I don't know, use what you want, pros and cons to each one. Uh, this one also allows for six. So you got four in this one, five in this one, and then six images that you can put in this carousel. So pros and cons. All right, now these next three are pretty basic. I mean, pretty simple. You have a premium single image with text. As you can see, there's basically a two column little module. You got an image on the right or left. You can probably switch those around and then you can do some copy like that. If you wanna go the basic route, that always looks good. You know, pretty simple. If you don't have a bunch of imagery that you can use or it's a basic product, then you know, you may just wanna go with some text like that and an image like that. I'm always a fan of putting copy into the image. So if you wanna go that route, I would always recommend that route, but do what you want to do, I guess. Premium technical specs. So if you've got something that has a lot of like, like a computer, you know, what kind of graphics card does it have? What kind of processor, RAM, hard drive, all that kind of stuff, you can put your tech specs into a little module like that. And then premium text is just a body of text. I wouldn't really recommend using this. It's kind of boring. Nobody's going to read it. Shoppers don't really read big blocks of text. Just so you know, they're more photo shoppers. They're going to look at the pretty pictures. So I highly recommend you put your copy and selling points into images because those are going to mostly be consumed. Basically, I always tell sellers, assume that the shopper is only gonna look at the pretty pictures and make their buying decision based on the information that they extract from those images. So you need to put as much features and benefits and selling points you know, of your products in those images, assuming that that's all that the shopper is gonna look for, and then expect that the text is for the bots and the, the bots that crawl the page and rank you for keywords. That's what's gonna help them rank you accordingly organically in the search results. The text is for the bots, pictures are for the humans. Think about it like that. All right. And last Lastly, I already kind of talked about this, but you know, at Evolve Media, we love making videos. We love doing a lot of photos, but ultimately videos sell. Photos just kind of, they sell too, but the, the you know, videos are better. I, I just, I'm, I like videos better. I mean, you know, you're, you're looking at me through a video, you know, so videos are great. So these two last modules are a uh, premium video image carousel. They say image carousel, but you can put a, vi I, I don't know why, <laughs> why it would be a video image carousel, goofy naming to me, but basically you see it here, you can click the little dot and you can basically switch sides of the video being on the left or on the right. You've got some copy there to kind of add backstory, set the context, things like that. So I love this one. You can put four videos in this one little module and have some text here for SEO ranking and stuff like that. This one is not necessarily a carousel. You basically just have a static video and text. So if you don't have an abundance of videos, well, hit me and my team up, emaamz.com, and we'll help you get a bunch of videos for your product. But if you don't, this is a great way. I would actually recommend this little module of having a smaller video and some copy there on the left, or you can always, you know, switch these around the 
video can be on the left, copy can be on the right, but I would recommend this one over this one right here. Sometimes this full video is just too much and people miss the little play button, so they may just think it's an image. So I'm more a fan of these smaller videos and I'm most of a fan of this carousel video. So now that I've kind of briefly went over all the modules you have available to you, let me just show you what some of these look like, my favorites, in the actual editor here. All right, so this module is the premium hotspots number one. So right here you can, you know, add your little hotspots, you can add in your, your headline, your body text, and then it says image here. To be honest with you, I'm not really sure. I haven't messed with this fully to uh, add in an image here. This is all pretty new stuff, so not really sure. And then it says mobile image, so it's like on mobile only. When they click on that, I guess an image would pop up. Not really sure, sorry for not having all the info, but I'm still learning, right? Very least, you got headline, body tech, and um, you know, you can add these different, so I, if I click right there, boom, I can add a little circle. If I wanna say, uh, you know, that corner, boom, add a little circle right there on that corner. So these image uh, hotspots are, are pretty fun and, and interactive. Here's the hotspots number two, where you can add in headline text, body text, and then just like the last one, you can add in your little hotspots by clicking here. You know, this copy right here, easy cleanup, deeper juice grooves, you could easily, you know, write that in here and then not have that copy here on this image. You could go that route if you don't wanna have this copy. Me personally, I like to have copy in here more because I wanna make sure that they see that. If they don't necessarily hover over that hotspot, they're not gonna see the copy. So you may miss out on them knowing certain things about your product. Here's that premium Q&A section. Here's what it looks like actually in the editor. You simply ask question, then you type in your answer, whatever you wanna say there. Pretty straightforward. It's like you can change the background color. So if you have a black themed branding, stuff like that, you can go black or you can go white. I would just recommend staying white. It's clean. Never really have, I, I, I never recommend having black backgrounds, but you know, whatever your branding is. Uh, premium full video, pretty straightforward. You can add in a little bit of headline text. This is that video that's like full width in your face. You know, that play button's gonna be really small, so I don't really recommend this, like I said before. And you can have some body text below. I always recommend having headline and body text, again, for the SEO rankability. Now, here are my two favorite modules right here. Premium video with text. Now, like I was telling you, this is the one, if you don't have an abundance of videos, you can either have the video on the right, you can put in your sub headline, your headline, and then your body copy, and then you can switch that around, oh, I want the video on the left. So you click on that one and you fill that out. Oh no, I want on the right. What I would kind of recommend is like, if you did, you know, if you had maybe two videos, you do this module right there and then the one below it, you switch it around and have the video on the other side, stuff like that. But here is the best one if you have a lot of video assets for your brand. And one way to get a bunch of video assets is user generated content. Send your product out to a bunch of different content creators, have them make videos, put those videos onto your listing. It's gonna build a ton of social proof. Trust, if you need help with getting some of these videos created, reach out to me and my team, emaamz.com. Book a call with me and we can help you get a whole bunch more videos created for your brand at a very affordable price. But anyway, it's very similar to that last little module. You just have a scroll, side scroll kind of effect to it where you can put in headlines, sub headline, body text, you can do an image or you can do a video. Obviously I'd recommend doing a video, but you can easily just put an image if you want. And then you go to panel two. I moved it over here to the left side. So you put in your video there, boom, boom, put like that. Panel three, let's switch it back over to this side. Now we have image and video, you know, image four, boom over here so you can kind of rotate things mix it up keep them on their toes you know anyway that pretty much wraps up all the different modules that you'll have access to with premium a plus content i highly recommend get it try to get it apply for it you have to have i think at least 15 asins with basic a plus content and a brand story has to be across all of them in order to get it but i've been seeing some sellers without that still getting it so try your luck reach out to amazon try to apply for it highly recommend it it's going to definitely help increase that conversion rate Again, if you want a free listing audit, reach out to me and my team. You can book a call with me by going to emaamz.com. And then if you wanna get access to our free Amazon listing checklist, go to amzchecklist.com. Thanks for watching. Click that thumbs up button. Click subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Leave any questions for me in the comments and I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.